It's my pleasure to have the opportunity to interview Mr. James Scott, the CEO of SHKZ.PK. Welcome to our show, Mr. Scott. Thank you. You can just call me James. Well, James, thanks for taking the uh, time out of your busy day. I, it's always tough for uh, CEOs to do that, and uh, we really appreciate that. Um, I've done a lot of research on your company to, in preparation for uh, for this interview, and I got to tell you, it's uh, it goes deep into a lot of different areas, and it's uh, in, very impressive. Um, so my first question is going to be a little probably in depth, but I, I couldn't think of another way to ask it, so I'll just give it a shot. Okay, sure. Uh, all right. So James, amongst other thing, other others. You're an active member of some pretty well-known and prestigious legislative and you know economic think tanks. Um, some of the ones I found, such as uh, the American Institute, the American uh, Enterprise Institute, the Hudson Institute, the Manhattan Institute, the Economic Research Council, the American Institute for Economic Research, and last but not least, the Pennsylvania Commonwealth Foundation. I mean, these organizations, you know, act as expert resources to Congress, the Senate, European Union, the UAE and top tier corporations on a global scale. Uh, I'm just wondering if you can. What is it the gain to the company or the investors from affiliations such as, the, as these? Access. Governmental organizations depend on these think tanks for guidance and content review for legislation and just general consultation. Alternative energy is an industry that few understand and lacks leadership to force the industry to move forward at an expedited pace. And by being a member of these organizations, we're able to assist and consult if we're asked by these groups um, because they have a direct effect on our industry. So what we're doing by being a member of these organizations, what I'm, what I'm trying to do is bridge the gap between the chaotic – entrepreneurial and the bureaucratic governmental. So I guess that that's the best answer I can give you. Uh, that, that answers that answers pretty good. I was just it was an impressive resume of uh, organizations there. How about if you just give a brief history of the company itself? Sure. Um, Shaka was a fledgling publicly traded startup shoe company called Shaka Shoes Inc. And we purchased a pretty interest in it about uh, about 10 months ago. And uh, after purchasing it, we immediately started auditing, you know, the financials, diving deeper, um, and getting the company to compliance standards so we could start trading. Um, we wanted to get it to a point where we could initiate a roll up slash merger acquisition type strategy for expedited growth. Um, the solar power industry. Uh, was something that we were always interested in, but the money wasn't made in development. It was instead made in the sales and installation aspect. So our goal was to get it, uh, uh, the company, you know, compliant trading took a lot longer because the financials were a mess, um, but we're finally there. And, uh, you know, once we get a better grasp on DTC and the timelines for, uh, name changes we intend on changing the name and the stock symbol um, and again, I mean just a little bit more. We also bought it um, even though the the company was lacking thorough management, um, we saw uh, that they did have very loyal um, shareholders, a lot of them bought in at you know i don 't know thirty cents or or whatever, but we saw guys that were were sticking it out, and they were really supporting us when they saw the interest there. Um, and I knew that when uh, shareholders saw that the company was in the hands of a solid executive management team with a real plan for expedited and scalable growth, including a globalization plan, that there would be a lot of excitement. And you know, last week when we started putting a couple press releases out here and there, I think that you know we could see a lot of excitement there just in movement. Understand the what direction did you take, and what are your business objectives going forward? Uh, we've been exploring growth opportunities in the emerging renewable energy and solar space, rising cost of fossil fuels, and the instability in the energy position to begin growing a service-based company. Um, our primary goal is to provide consumers, homeowners, and businesses with energy saving solutions to help them achieve not only financial sa savings, but 
more importantly, help them reduce their reliance on fossil fuels, because that's really where the problem is. I mean, globally, you know, especially right. with um, India and China entering the marketplace the way that they have been and how aggressive everything is. Fossil fuels is the problem. Um, you know, so we're also going to be there at an, an advisory capacity um, for consumers to show them simple ways you know, to save energy through their, you know, upgrading their windows, their doors, their installation, and a combination of those upgrades by converting um, to renewable energy systems such as solar and geothermal. Um, we feel that we can not only grow a nice, large, profitable corporation, but we can also make a difference with the environment one home at a time, one business at a time. So I hope that answers does with with that direction do you do you anticipate any you know, additional hiring or any additional jobs that you're going to add to your company yeah um actually that's a that's a great question um a week into the actual merging uh, the acquisitions the two that we've already done we've already created 10 jobs um we anticipate adding a minimum of 50 green jobs Speaking of the acquisitions, I mean, tell, tell the listeners about one your your first two acquisitions, and you know what are the the other is what are the uh, the specific recent achievements from those comp those acquisitions? Sure, that's a that's it's going to be a long uh, long answer, but let take, me take your time. <laughs> okay, um, in order for Shaka S H K Z P K. Um, to achieve the rapid entry into the market, we needed to first acquire a company that could provide three very specific things for this to work. Um, first, we needed a company that had the experience in complicated and custom construction solutions with sound management, marketing, and sales processes already. Second, we needed a company that had the licensing and the ability to offer consumer financing with reputable financing sources in multiple spaces um, and states, um, and the experience to implement renewable energy systems. And finally, uh, we wanted a company that could uh, integrate our processes that parallel their existing sales with our new mission to install energy saving solutions in homes and businesses. Our first acquisition, Classic Conservatories Corporation, a New Jersey-based specialty construction company, was the first construction company in the country to introduce modern English conservatories to the United States. Uh, founded 16 years ago by Chris Edwards and Peter Burley, uh, they were able to utilize their experience to build and install tens of millions of dollars worth of conservatories in the northeastern part of the U.S. Uh, Classic recently began exploring the installation of solar roofing solutions in New Jersey. So the timing for the acquisition couldn't have been more perfect. Uh, and also because Classic is a licensed general contractor in the hottest emerging solar markets in the country, such as New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, um, Maryland, um, this was the perfect company to launch the solar initiative. Um, having all the required construction and business licenses plus the ability to provide consumer financing through, again, through reputable, solid, stable sources. Um, SHKZ is positioned for immediate growth and profitability. So where did, where did Classic Conservatory's concept come from? I mean, you know, and how, you know, how does it benefit your growth? Yeah. Um, conservatories are – custom designed and manufactured energy efficiency, uh, energy efficient sunrooms that originated in England. These guys are from England. Um, Chris and Pete had brought the concept to the United States after they helped grow a British company into a 400 million euro powerhouse. So while in the UK, Peter met Chris and pioneered PVCU, which is a um, specific vinyl frame English conservatory. Um, and their combined success was what enabled them to come to the U.S. and start Classic Conservatories. Um, Chris, with his sales and marketing experience, and Pete, with his operation skills of running a $400 million company, clearly adds to our excitement as a company in knowing that we have yet two more members with the experience in management to help take our company to 
to that next level, not just domestically but abroad. I understand. Well, I didn't. I did not realize it was that much uh, of a four hundred million. That's pretty substantial. Yeah. The. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what is the specific audience for your business model? Um, our initial entry into the marketplace is primarily focused on consumers throughout the eastern portion of the United States. This is the reason that we decided to simultaneously acquire Home Energy Experts, um, which is an Atlanta-based in-home sales organization that specializes in energy-saving upgrades. Now, with with uh, how does Home Energy Experts fit into your acquisition of Classic since they're based in Georgia? Yeah, that, that's a good question. Home Energy uh, Home Energy Experts is a smaller but unique company founded by a guy named Jim Quigley. Um, after Jim sold his basement sales and marketing system to Owens Corning um, for an astonishing amount of money, actually, um, he then founded Home Energy Edge Experts, which is a newer venture. We were very fortunate to grab him before that company took off. Um, prior to Home Energy Experts, Jim was the founder of an award-winning company called The Basement Experts. Um, anyone in construction that I know, they've heard of The Basement Experts. They had their promotional material, TV commercials, everything, I mean, throughout the South, throughout the United States. Um, anyway, uh, in within seven years, he had grown that Basement Experts company into a multi-million dollar company employing more than – uh, 200 people, I think, 250 plus people um, throughout the Midwest. Um, Jim's unique understanding of in-home sales and marketing systems, and for the remodeling industry, that that shows that he's perfect. You know, he's a, he's a perfect fit for our rollout program throughout the United States. Um, we anticipate setting up satellite offices throughout the. You know, eastern portion of the country um, in a very expedited manner, and with him, we we believe that we can really do that. I'm going to shift gears on you here a little bit. We, you know, some of these questions that I've that I've asked have been, you know, the architecture, the framework of your company. Um, I'm going to shift to the growth and you know, and your the markets. So, uh, with that said, where is your company in the growth process for your various operations, and, and you know, how far along are you? Um, well, we're currently integrating the systems between um, and processes for classic and home energy edge experts, and we expect that to be done by the end of this month. Um, the integration process of the two companies certainly has not been stopping us from generating sales or um, for the, this new entity um, for Shaka. Um, in fact, our first week of the acquisition, we added over $100,000 in sales to our already existing pipeline. The revenues from the companies we've acquired in addition to the revenues we are adding weekly will show the shareholders that we mean business when it comes to rapid expansion and profitability. This is no longer a fledgling shoe company, but a corporation with a solid strategy and executive management team that's prepared and, and ready to move forward with an optimal strategic execution. How, how significant are the markets for your core technology and applications you're developing? Um, as most are aware, the renewable energy sector, especially solar, is a rapidly emerging market. So because so many other companies are focused on the technology, we believe that our entry into the market should be more focused on getting the most advanced products to the marketplace through strategic alliances um, while focusing on models and installation because that's really where the money is um, instead of chasing down grants and things of that nature for development. Um, we'll continue to constantly seek out and evaluate the latest in energy technologies and align properly when we find a product um, or products that are advantageous um, to add to our portfolio of solutions. But we're not a technology company. Instead, we choose to um, capitalize off of the need for sales and installation. I understand. Can you can you discuss the, the uh, strategic alliances and the, you know the the potential partners that you have? 
Sure. Um, we're, fortunately, we have several very solid, solid financing uh, sources that um, we'll be putting out there soon. Um, we just have to get permission to use their names. Um, we currently negotiated strategic alliances with some of the largest manufacturers and distributors of some of the most state-of-the-art renewable energy products in the marketplace. Um, we anticipate announcing those publicly through a press release, probably PR Newswire or whatever, um, within the next week or so, or in the, within the next couple of weeks. So, so beyond the products, what, what are the long-term opportunities for the company's technology? Um, we currently have a letter of intent to acquire a controlling interest in Innerdyne CFO Consulting, which is a Florida reseller and integrator. Um, Shaka's 2012 first quarter growth plan is to have seven new offices throughout the eastern uh, portion of the United States. Um, and also, to go back to Interdyne, um, by having Interdyne CFO as part of our team, we're going to be able to take the in-home sales process to the next level. Um, imagine being able to make a pre make an electronic order for a product or service and in real time processing the material, um, scheduling uh, the installation and booking the revenue all in real time. The, the ability to implement this process will ultimately save money by reducing overhead and increasing efficiencies, allowing for more sales and increased revenues in a faster, more efficient way. So it's a, a, a better solution. A, a trend that I keep uh, keep hearing as, as the interview is going on is the, the members of the team. I mean, you're, you're building a pretty impressive team of, of professionals here. Um, it's pretty impressive. What, yeah, what do you, you. You're welcome. What, what do you anticipate for your company over the next three years? Um, well, simple. Uh, over the next three years, Shaka will be one of the largest, fastest growing providers of renewable energy solutions in the country, employing hundreds of people without the need for large equity diluting capital investment or um, the need to beg Uncle Sam for the ever fleeting grants while offering a powerful distribution mechanism to the best of the best in solar and energy efficiency technology in the marketplace. That's where we believe that we'll be in three years. From a, from a, I'm going to shift gears on you one more time. From an investor perspective, I mean, what, what do you think makes SHKZ a good investment for potential investors? Uh, wow. A lot. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, I mean, a, a lot, uh, you know, with the foresight of where the industry is going and everything. But just to name a few things, um, if you think about it, we're, we're bringing solutions to this global energy crisis. We are in a crisis. And if you think we're in a crisis now, wait, wait, wait 10 years and see where we're at then. Now, if you think about it, energy fuels industry, industry enhances economy, and e economy. Um, positions the country's status among other nations. We have the contacts, alliances, and executive management for this necessary global reach. That's one reason. Um, another is because Shaka's growth plan relies on existing and emerging technologies developed by others. Uh, we can focus primarily on selling and implementing the products and services to the consumers. We can capitalize as opposed to chasing down grants where there's no money made. Um, uh, in addition, because our sales, marketing, and installation system is already proven to be successful and profitable, we don't have to worry about the long-term over-dependency of uh, investor capital trying to chase down loans. Um, you know, do uh, secondaries um, or, or any of that type of thing, you know, we can, this company, because of the capitalization capability can fuel its own growth. Um, I guess another one is, you know, we're not trying to create new products, rather we're educating, selling and installing the emerging products that others are developing. 
therefore we don't rely on unproven technology. We sell and install the best of the best technologies manufactured by our strategic alliances. And then I guess the, the last thing would be we fully intend on being one of the largest sales and, in, and installation companies in the industry with the anticipation that other companies that have cutting edge technology will first come to us to introduce them to the marketplace. So we're looking for a lot of exclusivity agreements there too. So those are just a few of the scores of reasons, but I didn't want to keep going on. <laughs> no, J J James, we uh, uh, believe me. Listen to some of the things that you've addressed, and uh, the, 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 all the chain of events that you have with going through your strategic planning and your your business objectives are, are definitely impressive. The uh, and we, and I want you to know that we you know we also understand you know company operations and the importance of them as such. And we really appreciate that we've had the opportunity to speak with you right after the company announced these acquisitions. Uh, oh, thanks for having me on, seriously. Oh, it was, it's, it's, been, it's been – I appreciate it. The uh, one, one last thing I'd like to note, though, is how can investors contact your company for, for more information? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, uh, two things. One, we're launching a new website over the next few weeks. Um, there will be lots of good communication um, – for both in investors and public um, where they can get uh, expedited responses. But um, they can also call our investor relations team headed by Michael Irving. And uh, that phone number is 407-878-5462. Um, let me say that again just in case I mess that up. 407-878-5462. And so he, uh, you know, we pay him and his firm to um, walk investors or potential investors through any questions that they have or, uh, you know, to crush any of the, those goofy rumors that can be out there about public companies. So <laughs> understand. <laughs> <What up>? Well, <laughs> well, we appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to be with us. Enjoy your day. Oh, thank you very much. That was Mr. James Scott, the CEO of shkz.pk.